Hey guys, this is John from US Dash Camera. Today this is just a quick vlog about my current camera that I use on my vehicle. Now, I did get a new truck recently. I used to have a Civic, which you've probably seen in all my videos if you've seen my old videos, but with the truck, I didn't want a rear camera in the back of the cab because the truck bed I thought was going to block some of the view or not offer a very good picture. But I did get a truck topper, so I do have a window all the way on the back of my truck. So now I'm not going to go into too much detail about this camera because I do have a full review. So if you want to see why I like it so much, watch the review down below. But in summary, I basically really like that it's full 1080p front and rear because it's a two-channel camera. It has really good automatic parking mode and it has a very discreet design. So it really was my new favorite camera and if you watched my top six cameras video I just posted recently, it was the first camera I talked about. Another reason I really like this camera is it does have audio alerts for several different instances. So you can hear some of the examples right now. Regularly format memory card for data integrity. Regularly format memory card for data integrity. Memory card format will now start. Memory card format complete. One really cool feature it has is it will actually tell you how many times it detected motion or a G-Shock event when your car was in parking mode, so that's really cool. Continuous recording will now start. So again, check my full review down below if you'd like to see more about this camera. It's a great camera, I think. It has pretty good video quality. A lot of times two-channel systems don't have as good a video as most single-channel cameras, but I think this one has good enough video quality for my needs. Even the night footage, I think, is pretty good, so I, I really like it. Now in my truck, I do have it installed directly below the black dotted part behind my mirror. I have the wire going up through the headboard and then it comes down behind the weatherproofing actually and then behind this plastic piece which you can rip off so it comes underneath this plastic piece which you can also rip off and I actually wire it under the carpet because there's a firewall underneath the chair there so you'll see down below you'll have to forgive my shaky camera but there are already wires down there so I wired it through that firewall you can see there I gotta do a be better job covering that to protect it but I do have this plastic tubing to help protect it from stuff like rocks but anyways it comes all the way back along the frame then I have it there you can see the camera I have it come up right between the tailgate and the truck bed So for the most part it's protected from weather, but it's not perfect. Put all the extra slack up there, and then it comes up to right there. So I think this is a really good solution because I don't want the truck bed in the camera's view. So I really like that. I'm getting license plates really close like this, and <clears throat> since I already wanted a truck topper, it's sort of a win-win for me anyways. So if you have any other questions about how I installed it or why I chose this camera, leave the questions down below. Thanks for watching.